Cases done with this show Ray and Bakary. National Assembly don't pass 2020 budget. And courts don't sentence Oju Zokalu to 12 years for prison for that bone matter. Nema don't receive new set of people who come back from Libya. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazobia Max. TV, this now as it take happen. My name now Adati Onkwe. For inside the first story where we carry come, a Department of State Services, that's now DSS, they don't release the person where BC starts the revolution now protest, that's now Omoye Le Shoere and Olawale Bakere. As a matter be, they release them by 7.15 p.m. on Thursday. And as some hours after Justice Ijoma Ojuku of Federal High Court for Inside Abuja, he and say she know happy say DSS people still hold them till now. She can't give order, say make them release them within the next 24 hours. As the matter be, as she give the order, DSS can't release them, give their lawyer Femi Falana, before time where BC then give them expire. Show her now the publisher of the online news platform, Webi Sahara Reporter, and now the pres now presidential candidate for the February 2019 election. DSS arrest him on 3rd of August, some days after in plan one protest against bad government for inside the country. As the matter be now, Shawere and Bakere they face seven counts charge, say then they plan to scatter things together for inside the country. Plus, say then they do money wuru and plenty internet crime them. Plus, including other things where be said in summer for their head. And now, as the matter be, they come they plead, say they know they're guilty of all the charges. And as the matter be now, we stick on here, say they want to rearrest them. We shall probably come out from inside that we still enter court matter. Justice Mohammed Idris of Federal High Court for Inside Lagos don't sentence before Governor of Abia State, Oji Uzokalu, to 12 years for inside the prison. This one they happen now after the court find out say Kalu and two others, they're guilty of 7.65 billion naira, where be said in Dagbo government. The other people will be safe for local for inside this one. Nine company will be Slok Nigeria Limited and Ude Udogu will be director of finance and account for Abia State Government House when Kanu still be governor. Inside the 39 counts where BC they amend, EFCC they accuse them, say them join hand together and move 7.65 billion naira from state account. The people where BC carry the matter come, come talk, say them break the law where BC they inside section 427 of the Criminal Code Act and the CAP 77, plus including the law of the Federation of Nigeria for 1990. As the matter be, they can't plead, say they know they're guilty on top of that one. Now, during the trial, the people where Bisekai the matter come, being called 19 witnesses them, and they can't testify on behalf of their self. We shall probably work out come up from that one, run, enter, Senate. For National Assembly now, the Senate don't pass 2020 budget of 10.59 trillion naira. We come big pass the 10. 33 trillion naira with President Muhammad Buhari carry come National Assembly on October 8, 2019. Adi Masabi, this one now they do after they collect report of Senate Committee on Top Appropriation on Thursday. As they yearn for there, as they present the report, Senator Barao Jibrin now come here and say the 260 billion naira where we say they add now to help to put out for critical areas them like natural national security, road infrastructure, mines and steel development, plus including body matter and many other things. Senator Jibrin now come talk say the statutory transfer stand for 560.5 billion naira. Then the recurrent expenditure on a 4.8 billion naira. Capital expenditure now 2.5 billion naira. Then to service debt now 2.7 billion naira. Fiscal deficit now 2.3 trillion naira. And the deficit to GDP of 1.552%. In context, a daily oil production stands for 2.18 million barrels per day. Oil benchmark stands for $57 per barrel against the $55 where the executive been carry come, just as exchange rates gone day for 305 naira per dollar. Recommends that the Senate do consider and approve as follows. One, 
a bill for an act to authorize the issue for the consolidated revenue fund of the Federation, the total sum of 10 trillion, 594 billion, 362 million, 364,830 naira only, of which 560 billion, 470 million, 827,235 naira only is for statutory transfers. Other lawmakers now wake on yarn on top of the one where BC they, they increase the budget with money where reach 260 billion naira. They come, they come out, come they yarn now say the increase get to do with security problem within the country. Say they want to use and take fight in security matter. One is that in, doing, in looking at this budget, there were a lot of constraints looking for money to finance a lot of projects. But if you look at the key assumptions, you can see that there are areas maybe you would have done better. And I do hope that next year we'll be able to do something about it. The first is the exchange rate. Between us, we know that there's no way in Nigeria you we'll get dollar at 305. But we are using 305 as official exchange rate. Regrettably, when we end our revenue in dollars, the distribution is in Naira. So I will find out that we end up sustaining the levels of government. So it is either that we distribute the, uh, the uh, revenues to the states and local government and the, and the federal government in dollars, or we accept an appropriate exchange rate of about 360 or 350. Because for every one dollar we are losing about 60, dollars, 60 Naira using the 305 uh, dollars exchange rate. So this is something we need to engage the government especially the finance ministry and the central bank that just appropriately. Under a very tight parameters to ensure that the budget does not expand unnecessarily, but rather ensure that all parameters as contained in the medium-term expenditure framework were used as a benchmark in putting together these final documents. And for whatever we have seen from what was submitted or what was given to us today, has been initiative that has come from the passage of the finance bill, which this August gathering believes that we enhance the revenue drive of the federal government. On top of that one, Senate President Ahmed Lawa and Kontok say as them pass the public procurement, finance bill and appropriation bill for 2020. Say the executive now they for better position to make sure say then start to implement everything ready for the 2020 budget 100 percent so that all country people go fit benefit for inside. A bill for an act to authorize the issue from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation the total sum of 10 trillion 594 billion 362 million 364,830 naira only of which 560 billion 470 million 827,235 naira only is for statutory transfers, two trillion seven hundred and twenty five billion four hundred and ninety eight million nine hundred and thirty thousand naira only is for debt service, four trillion eight hundred and forty two billion nine hundred and seventy four million six hundred thousand six hundred and forty naira only is for current non debt expenditure. While the sum of two trillion four hundred and sixty-five billion four hundred and eighteen million six thousand nine hundred and fifty-five naira only is for contribution to the development fund for capital expenditure for the year ending on the thirty-first day of December 2020, third reading taken and passed. So I want to congratulate all of us for this. I think we have done so much in a short while. We are giving the executive today everything they need. We have given them the budget by passing it. We have given them the finance bills. We have given them the public procurement amendment bill. These are central 
to ensuring that the, the, the implementation of the 2020 budget is improved over what has been happening in the last few years. And for Inside this next story, still for Inside the Senate. Senate now don't confirm nomination of, Muktar, of Umar Muktar Gajiram and Dr. Alibu Sinikem Johnson as resident electoral commissioners of INEC. Now this confirmation now they come as the Senate don't sit down, consider the INEC committee where Senator Kabiru Gaya the lead. As it be so, the Red Chamber rejects nomination of Rahim Muhyiddin or Lalekon on top the recommendation of the committee, sake of say in the APC member. Senator Abari Betok say or Lalekon being done appear before the Senate committee on top INEC, where he will put mouth to talk to the APC member, and he don't be contest for local government chairmanship inside Oshobo for Ocean States. In the course of the uh, uh interaction with the nominee, he admitted himself that he was a card-carrying member. And it was reported in all the newspapers in this country. And so, if we see somebody who has self-admitted, turning around to now and say, oh, the petitioner did not come or anything, and we don't even know from the chairman whether the petitioner was invited to come and prove what he has. So I think, really, that there are a lot of people in Oshun State. Rather than getting us involved in the murky details of whether somebody belongs to something or not, that we should take the uh, recommendations of the committee as done. And what the committee simply did is, we stood it down so that we can do further investigation, which is like technical language telling the president to do some other nomination. And still on top of the matter, every attempt with Deputy Senate President Ovi Omo Agege being due to save Olale Kon no work at all. Senator Omo Agege argues that since the person where BC accused Olale Kon, say him be APC member, as he no appear before the committee to defend everything when they yearn for their screening, say he no go good if they no confirm him. And still on top of that one, they con the yarn as the yarn for there. Senate President Ahmed Lawan now con the talk, say as the matter be, he con they congratulate everybody where he be said and confirm. Con they tell them, say, plenty mountain day for them to climb as then they prepare to do their work. Uh, uh, Notwithstanding the terrific job they did, by their own uh, ad admission here in this report, the committee is saying, that the petitioner was not even available to lead evidence on the petition against the nominee. So on what basis then? This is the man who is making allegation against the nominee. The, man, the, the, the one who is making the allegation did not even show up to lead evidence against the nominee. I don't think it would be fair to defer this nomination. As, as, as uh, prob probably alleged, I say he who alleges must prove. The person who alleged there had the opportunity, Mr. President, to come before this committee to lead evidence on the allegation against the nominee. And I, I believe that opportunity was given to them, or to the, to the uh, petitioner, but he did not show up. So I think it would be most unfair, Mr. President, to continue to put uh, this nominee in perpetuity. To the extent that this allegation is not proven, I think it should be given the benefit of the doubt, also take into account that Mr. President, who made these nominations, is entitled, Mr. President, to have anybody of his choice work for him unless and until it is proven that that person is incompetent and or not qualified. That has not been done in this case, Mr. President. I'd like to suggest that uh, just like the, the first two nominees, he, this uh, third nominee from Oshun State should also be cleared. Thank you, Mr. President. I will shall come up from inside out to re-enter the next one. Obonke government now don't come out to go here and say the country goes soon get like 18 million rice farmers. Minister of Information and Culture, Ogalai Mohamed, and I hear this one on Thursday, as him they inspect some of the rice mills for inside Kano State. Oga Mohamed talks say the border where BC they close. He don't increase the number of domestic producers them. So now we think make and reach this figure. And with the current statistics where BC he they ground. In con the answer the border where BC they close for now, he go give the country better strength to generate money, promote things where BC we get for inside the country, and to fight security wahala. Now, many rice farmers across the country have started three times a year cultivation in order to meet the increasing demand. 
This is phenomenal. And not this alone. The referee tells us that at least 6 million people, additionally, mostly youth, are now venturing into rice production. Meaning that we could hit 18 million rice farmers in no time. In the present trend continues. As still as the young for there, Governor of Kanu State Abdullahi Ganduje, he called the young Nasi make government they do more to help to reduce the suffer of Nigerians. Ministers, produce rice in Nigeria for us to feed ourselves requires a very, very serious political way. And what you are witnessing now, the closure of the border, that is a political will that we needed for many years ago. Past administration could not reach this success because of economic conspiracy from few individuals who benefit from rice importation. But it was a good way of Mr. President Muhammad Buhari, when he came in, he didn't mean what, he didn't waste time, he said business was not as usual. And if we wanted to feed ourselves, we must go back to the farm. We must produce. And what was needed was the right policy. For inside the next story where we can become, Federal Capital Territory Department of Fire Service now, they don't talk, say they go to stop the one where be say people, they sell cooking gas and industrial gas for some kind of places where be say they no approve within the FCT. The department young this one on Wednesday, as they young give people on top of fire matter for inside would say modern market. The talk person of the FCT fire service, that Natim Vejeri, he talks say the FCT minister Mohammed Bello don't give the department order, say make them make sure say them do everything for inside their power now to make sure say fire accidents no good day as especially as Hamata don't show face for inside the world and as the matter be uh, our Tory person John Emmanuel now he get more Tory on top this one like this he be like saying at the same room when they use swift kicking a pep operators now they won't use for people where they sell gas for inside Abuja as the fire service public relation officer talks a government plan to ban the selling of gas for inside Abuja no be play play matter we can have a that will help us to respond quickly if there is an emergency according by him they will start this ban on top of the sale of gas as soon as they release one obonga report where they call ministerial committee report on fire prevention what has it been so the college talks they make people know use one can corner corner eye they see this plan because what did they make they want to start the ban on sales of gas for everywhere for inside abuja now because of the rate with fire disaster the day for inside dry season so the Honourable Minister mandated FCT Fire Service to go around and encourage a sensitization in all the markets that are within the FCT. We don't want a reoccurrence of what has happened in other places to happen here. And that is the essence of what we are doing now. Because there is press time, you go and buy, you put it, you forget, you strike a match, and then something happens. When you come begin to the yam, the chamo of Wuse Market come begin to the praise the FCT administration for this Obonge program where he in Tulsa go educate Nigerians where we on how to prevent fire outbreak. The Minister of FCT has created an enabling environment and given all support to all efforts that are being made to make sure that FCT is fire free. That's why the FCT fire service is here today. All these things you're seeing happening is because the FCT minister has given impetus to it and is making sure that everything is being done to avert any fire outbreak in the market. According to the fire service people, this open eye campaign now for all the markets waiting for inside Abuja, they go do it. So that people go understand what in the cause fire and how to prevent them. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And the Tory where we said they reach our hand now, we hear say they don't rearrest or moil a show. Where be the person will start the revolution now protest? As a matter be, we will bring more to we can give you for inside our next bulletin. And for inside another Tory, River State House of Assembly Committee on top transport. They don't call now to make them set up Operation Sting for inside water 
to reduce criminal activities where they happen on top water. This is not part of the sense talk where we say the House Committee carry come. On top of the things where we say security John Body need to do along a Portacourt Bonnie Waterways. The chairman of the committee, Prince Ngo Piccolo, where we say they represent Kana constituency too. Now he submit this one for the floor of the house. He yan this one after talk say after they don't get meeting with security chiefs, them and stakeholders. Say the committee can't discover say insecurity for that place now. It's too much now for Boni local council authorities to handle alone. As a matter be the lawmaker can't call for security meeting. We all the relevant stakeholders them to tackle security matter on top sea roads. And we come out from inside that one, enter the next to we. National, Emer National Emergency Management Agency don't receive a new set of 168 stranded Nigerians and we just return from Libya. As a matter be, these people will be say decide to come back to Nigeria. Now IOM with support of the EU now you go receive them from Mutala Mohamed Airport Cargo Wing as Ibrahim Fahim Loe, the acting coordinator of NEMA for Lagos Territorial Office, come on behalf of Director General of NEMA will be Engineer Mustafa Mehaja. As a matter be, them talk say now after them don't collect all their information finish, they can't find out to say now 38 now, 38 now women will be adults, five now female children. 109 adult men, 6 male children, and 10 small picking them, Nahin Day Day. All these ones now, Nahin make a total of 8,096 men, and the 5,788 women where we say come back from Libya. And the total number of returnees them now where we say they enter Nigeria from 16 countries, now 15,731 since April 2017 till today. We they come back with business and sports story. No go anywhere. And for inside the business, the Emir of Kano, Lamido Sanusi, it also the decision where BC Obonge government make now to close border. Say a part of the things now where BC they want to take use, preserve the foreign policy of the country. And according by him, Naito say as border no day open now. He go protect productive industry, make it for no scatter. As a matter be, they talk all this one now. Say this one will protect productive industry so that it no go scatter. He had this one on Thursday for inside the launch of new foreign policy. We see a journal where we see Association of Retired Career Ambassadors of Nigeria being due. According by him, again, it does say if we get industrial policy, we will protect the productive sector of Nigeria against the competition where we say no good. Say so we know if it allow our neighbors now to open the door of that bad competition and to come they bring in things through back door. In come I'd say the decision now to stop neighboring countries them, make them know they break the ECOWAS protocol as Nigeria now don't become the place where we say that they dump things anyhow. That's now our business story for today. We they come back with sports. <laughs> For inside sports, president of Nigeria Football Federation, that's now Amaju Pinik. He don't come out now, come talk back, give Super Eagles coach Genot Raw. On top, the one where BC Ogaro, they talk, say that they want salary for three months. The Super Eagles coach, being young for inside interview, say NFF, the one. $100,000. And now the Federation come out now, consciously deny the talk for inside the talk paper, where the press media department of NFF carry come. According to the NFF, now only thirty. Now only thirty thousand dollars. Now him then they owe the Super Eagles coach. The football John body now come the query raw. Sake of say him break the law with the guide in contract and saying they yearn about in salary give to real people. The NFF president now come talk give to real people for inside Asaba. Say the NFF need the OAM at all. Say they, they always pay raw in salary and he come the yearn now say raw must respect the people where be say put them for work. And as a matter be raw presents a contract go expire for June. 2020. Now all the to read them be this way we carry come for this afternoon. But before we go, make we still look all our top to read them again for this afternoon. DSS don't rearrest, sorry. 
and National Assembly now don't pass 2020 budget. Court don't sentence Audrey Zokaru to 12 years for prison for Dago matter. Nema don't receive new set of people who will come back from Libya. My country people now all the told them to this as it take happen. I make you still remember seeing our Zobia Max TV the day and time. My name is Adati Ongu. Good afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.